I think I'll start this job without coffee! Oh, this is Eric John Beck with this here Universal 4 tool! Yeah! And now we're just gonna add a little bit of coffee. Go. Uh, I need more! Can be a standard or metric? Standard or metric? I don't know! I'll never let go, Jack! I'll never let go! Have you lost your mind? Hi, bitch! going on today so everyone has their toys and I have mine not for long this will be the one and only video I ever made of my 1984 Ford Bronco what a fun truck I've actually got more memories working on it than I actually do driving it ah! Ooh, uh, yeah I'll miss this when I'm old and crippled I'll be clicking on this video myself and watching it anyways moving along the issue I had today was the hood latch the hood latch mechanism sits right here and the issue was I couldn't get it to latch. This part was stuck up here and you probably try to push this down yourself. But all you do to get it off is you take off the bolt on the left, which is right there, bolt on the right, 10 millimeter worked fine, probably 3 8 standard, whatever, I don't really care. But uh, you pop it off like that. And then you take, uh, there's a case that goes on the bottom, looks like that. Take that screw off, pop him off, and there's a little spring you take the little spring that goes right there to right there, you take him off. And for mine, probably the same situation as yours, it just, uh, something happened. And there's a little arm right there. Up right there where my thumb is. It's very, this is a 1984, and in the 90s they changed them up. And I think in the early 80s they were actually a little bit different too. So this, you know, I don't know what years they made this for, but if yours looks like this, yeah. So, uh, him, him. All right, my spring's back on. Should look like that. I'm going to put the cover back on. All right, I just put the cable back on. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, cable just pops right off, and this just slides right out. Real easy. All right, here's the cover. goes like that. Okay? Just one little bolt holds it in place. All right, so I ended up having to go get a completely different door. Uh, excuse me. Hood latch. This is my old one. Long time ago, I greased it up. I noticed it was kind of wonky, but it st wor still worked. Then one day, came out, and I couldn't get it. Uh, uh. I'm supposed to be able to push that down, and it's supposed to latch. Look at it closely. Ah, see how it looked like that? That little hook up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and the spring goes right there. Looks like that on this new slashed used one. This one has been sitting out in the field. Got it from a guy locally. And um, so yeah, you push down like that. See how that one clicked like that and the other one didn't? That's what they're supposed to do, okay? Then when you pull your cable, it sits right here. Goes like that, and then your hood flops open. Now this is an 84 pickup, and then you have the little lever over here that's not affiliated with this. In later years, they have a hook that's attached up here. For example, like my 1995, F-150 has a hook like that, and it's basically the same thing. They just combined them. So, but this is what it looks like. It's supposed to do that. Uh, and it's not working. Okay. But basically, this little spring up in here busted, specifically. And it's riveted in. It did latch that time, but I will not be able to put that back because the spring is busted right there. Trust me. You can't see it. You can't see it in the video. All right, the best way how you can tell to see, because if this is not latching in the downward position, best way to tell is just look at the front right here, and you can see this is the bad one, and you can see that the spring is actually loose. This is the broken spring. If I pick up this other one, that is my new used one, you'll see that the spring is tight. That means that the spring, this is the, uh, the actual holding, um, little magic lever in here that somehow there's some magic in there and it gets stuck. But uh, if you have the same issue, that means that spring is busted. It is pressed in and you must um, 
there's really no way to fix it. I mean, I suppose if you wanted to ground this off and fight, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, you know, you might be able to fix it with the new spring, supposing you can find it. But it's just easier just to replace it with a different one, really. I mean, I paid $35 for this. I mean, that was straight ripoff, but I need it now. I need it now, and I don't have time. You can probably get one off cheaper for uh, uh, Rock Auto, A1 Auto, maybe eBay or Amazon even. But, um, yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Hey, thanks for watching. I spent a great deal of my time holding the camera, blabbing my fat pie hole, trying to show you how you can fix your pile of Ford for a reasonable price and getting on your way. Please like and subscribe. If not, I'll just delete everything. This 1984 Ford Bronco full-size full drive works, and it will be posted, and it will sell at the end of the February, by the end of February of 2022, on a website called the Online Car Auction of Kansas City, Missouri.